Hi, my name is Sören Gebert and I would like to show you the latest development in web processing services with GIS Grass and QGTU GIS. Okay, I have opened it, uh, Quantum GIS and would like to import a simple uh, project. Um, we have a raster map points and a Delaunay triangulation. And now uh, let's connect to a web processing service which I have um, installed locally. Um, there is a really nice plugin from Host Duster available for Quantum GIS. It's called uh, uh, WPS Client. We can open it, and as you can see, there are several uh, web processing services available Zoo and PyWPS. And let's choose my local installed PyWPS uh, server. Okay, connect. And as you can see, there are uh, many processes available um, via P PyWPS and these processes are automatically attached using a software which I have implemented, which is called uh, WPS Gross Bridge. And um, with this software, it is possible to attach most of all raster and vector modules and self-implemented modules to um, several WPS server like Zoo, PyWPS, N52 North. Okay, let's choose uh, we Voronoi for demonstration. We have a point data set and we want to create a Voronoi diagram. Okay, uh, the GUI you can see is generated automatically from the web processing uh, process description which is um, provided by the web processing server. We have uh, two tabulars, uh, one process and a documentation tab. The documentation tab is a small WebKit browser, so you can uh, read the um, documentation of the GRASS module, which is which 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 points to the uh, official documentation in the web, and you can follow links because this is a tiny browser. But let's run the module. Uh, we would like to create a Voronoi diagram from an input vector map containing points or centroids. So um, the first uh, entry in this uh, graphic user interface is the mandatory input, which is of type vector, and we have points here available. Um, we have several options here. We can set the um, options true or false. Uh, these are the command line options in for the module. Okay, and uh, this is the output. We have a complex output, a single output, and we need to specify the name of the output vector map, which is here in this case uh, gener generated automatically. Okay, let's run the process. It finished successful, that's fine. And this is a result, and as you can see, the result is automatically attached to uh, QGIS. Okay, uh, let's compute some statistics for our generated uh, or for the points which we have used to generate the uh, Voronoi diagram. Okay, the generated graphical user interface. Input is points and the column name is height. And I think that's all. Let's run the module. Okay. And the output is of type text plane, so it will be not attached to QGIS, but we can have a look at the result. And here we are. Uh, this is the output of the GRASS module. Okay. Let's go back. Now let's choose a quite complex uh, GRASS module, um, a vector module to interpolate a surface with regular spline tangent method. Um, so the GUI generation needs a bit longer. Okay, we have our input. Let's have a look at the documentation first. Yes, okay, we know what we are doing. Um, the process uh, we have as input our points and we do not have a mask map. And we need to specify uh, several of so many parameters. Okay, let's start with the resolution of the resulting raster map. We need to set this by hand uh, so the um, temporarily uh, generated grass um, map set knows which resolution has the generated grass map. 
Grass Raster Map. Okay, set several other uh, options to false and the resolution 25 meters for north south. The Z column is named height and I think that's all. And now let's select a single output. There are so many available. We just want to have the elevation. Let's set this to none and then the outputs are not requested by this client. Okay, let's run the process. Need some time. Now the result is imported and here we are. That's the result of the regular spline with tension interpolation method. Let's uh, move the points above the result. Shwoop. Okay, here we are. Um, GIS Grass ships several interpolation algorithms. We can uh, try an, another one that's the inverse distance weight interpolation. Okay, this is uh, documentation. The process input is points, that's correct. The column name is height, and then we choose the default. Oh, this, this, no, you have no set coordinates set, set as the false. We choose the default settings. Okay, let's run the process. Finished. Let's go back. Oh, as you can see, I missed uh, to say uh, the module, what kind of resolution the raster map has. Now we have a quite a coarse resolution because it's the default value uh, in the implementation of the VPS or WPS grass bridge is 100 meters. Okay, now let's sample um, the resulting um, spline raster map with the points to know which, how large is the difference between the real values and the interpolated values. Okay, generate the GUI read the documentation and now here we are. So we choose the uh, regular spline with tension raster map, the points, the column heights, uh, as you can see all these red uh, inputs are mandatory. Th th you need to specify these uh, values. Height and grass resolution is maybe important, 25 meters. 25 meters and yes, let's run the module. Now a new point set is generated. Let's go back, break. Uh, for sample out, okay. And now let's have a look at the attribute table. And here we can see these are the point values and these are the raster values and this is the difference between these values. Okay, and uh, PyVPS, uh, the, the VPS server has also uh, raster uh, modules available for processing. And let's choose one of the raster modules. Okay, local connect, first the vector modules, and here are the raster modules. Okay, let's compute the topological index of the uh, elevation map. Okay, and the input is our SRTM with 30 meter resolution. We don't need to specify this resolution now because um, when the raster map is imported, the resolution is uh, specified by the imported raster map, so we don't need to specify it in this case. Okay, run it. It's finished, go back, and this is the result of the topological comput computation. So we have several other or many, many other models uh, available. Now let's let's try um, the neighborhood, neighborhood analyzers. Um, okay, uh, we don't need a selection map, we need an input map, which is a topological index. Okay, and let's set this to false. Resolution is not needed, but we set the size of the neighborhood size to 9. Okay, let's run the module. And this is a result. Yeah, works fine. 
Okay, and the last raster module I would like to show you, which is available, is um, the generation of, a co of contour lines from an elevation map called R contour. Here we are. Generate the GUI. This is our raster map. Um, resolution is not necessary. Um, min level is 0, step is 20 meters, and the max level is 2000. Okay, I hope that's all I need, and let's run the module. Okay, let's go back, break. Well, looks really nice, the result. I hope you enjoyed uh, the latest development in web processing, GIS Cross and QGIS. And see you next time. Bye.